Hi and welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hanger. Kind of excited because I've seen this plane in the air. It is the Durafly FX Tra or EFX Tra, however you're going to say it. Anyway, let's get this baby open. Okay, welcome back. Um, I think I put my goggles on just in case. Can't see anything otherwise. Right, let's get this uh, this baby open. I'm not going to go into too much detail of what it's got in it, the specifications. I'll put all that on the video uh, description and also a link to Hobby King where I purchased this plane from. Uh, I've got a big uh, salute to uh, Captain Robert and Captain Blaz. They brought this too, and uh, I think they've done a, uh, an unboxing yesterday or today or whenever they did, but uh, yeah. Now these do come in three different colours. I think I got the green one. They come in red, blue, and green. I don't know if you see that? There you go, red, blue, green. Um, there's a bit of bit of gump on there if you want to if you can read it. Stretches out. Okay, but it does. Uh, it comes with two um, type of propellers. Uh, one for a four cell battery and three cell battery, I believe. Anyway, let's get the nif out because I. I haven't even opened this. I've had it for a while. Uh, you heard me talk about it when I was doing the uh, the uh, Falk Wolf FW190. Uh, it's easier to say it that way. Um, yeah, so I, have, I haven't touched it. It's been sitting in the corner. It's just I saw it flying in the field uh, with a, uh, a club I belong to. And uh, it's just crazy. Now, you know, if I attempt to fly this at the moment, I'll probably crash maybe. Who knows, whatever. But it's, it's the enjoyment of just... It is crazy, it is fast. It is the sports one, I think they call it. Right, so let's, let's get the other way around. So this is the unboxing. The unboxing with Chris's super bright lights. There's never any good for white boxing. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I did say I'll get it sorted. I was looking at some lights on Amazon. Um, but yeah, you know, when you buy from Amazon these days, they've really gone downhill, don't you think? You never know what you're getting. Oh dear me. That's some sexy stuff. Right, let's just put this box, the carvel box. Oh, we'll live in a box. Here we go, right. Well, I will be if I keep buying planes. Right, okay, so let's, this is, this is really glary. Glary, glary. And I think, I, I didn't want to go too close. So, but uh, we're going to do a build video. So you'll be able to see all the, uh, how it goes together as usual. But now, the unboxing. I do love unboxing planes. It's uh, it's like Christmas, you know. Except that you know what you're going to get. So let's have a look at this. So we've got right now. Uh, it's kind of a bag of uh, looks like canopies, but I think there's like for uh, uh, an FBB camera. I'm, I'm trying to lean over. I shouldn't lean over, but there's some bits there. Uh, we're going more detail on the build, but uh, it looks like a uh, you know a, a party nose. Who knows? <laughs> we won't go to the. What does that look like? <laughs> yeah, it's to do with FPV. First person view. He remembered. Anyway, I believe that because you can stick a camera in this and go FPV, which. I'm hoping to do. I've got a little thing called uh, iNav, I believe it's called. I won't go through descriptions or that much chat, but it gives you all the uh, through the goggles. You get like the the, the false horizon and the, the height, and basically what you'd see if you're flying a jet plane. Awesome stuff. Maybe go in here. This baby coming out again next week. Hopefully the weather's not too bad. Um, Keith, who uh, trains me, um, he's back from holiday, so. Hopefully, this is going to stay in the back of the car every day after work. Battery's going to be charged at work, maybe, if I can. Depends if I'm in the office. Who knows? Anyway, so let's see. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> oh, just love this bit. Right, okay, so good packing by the look of it. Whoa, definitely green. Oh, sexy. Oh, look at that. Bang, pop. Look at these. Look at that. Durafly. Number 83. Look at that wing. Hang on. Look at that. Look at that. 
sort of balance. I think they're wing balance. Uh, there is a name for these. Oh, they haven't uh, put the horns in. So a little play. I don't know. I would have thought it. I think it's probably got some. It looks like it's got. It's got a spar, an extra spar going across the uh, the flat to give it uh, a bit more rigidity, and also across the wings. I mean, I see here. There's a, like a little spar going across the wings. And uh, I should really bring the camera closer, you know, but you wouldn't be able to see everything. So, but you can see those extra rigidity. If that's the word, rigidity. Put my teeth in, can't say that word. Obviously, the scoop, or what would you call this? Something to land on, I think that's what you call it. There is a name for that. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, maybe I'll think of it. Um, I can't see any plastic inserts. In fact, that. Uh, that's that. Let's have a look at it in the sky. No, see, that, that, that's really crazy. That's really crazy because you know this is basically a almost a 3D plane. I mean, it's got some extra strength here. It's got some nice wood inserts to keep that strength there. But they didn't put any hinge hinges on the on the uh, on the ailerons. Hmm. Skids. It's called a skid. That's what it's called. Skid, and you've got some skids on the wings because obviously this doesn't have any wheels. Surprised about that. So, you know, we're going to put some Blendum in there to uh, keep it a bit more sturdy because this thing's going to. This goes fast. How fast? I don't know. Maybe I'll just look into it. But I know when I saw it in the field, it was like a, a flying net. If you get nets where you live, I'm sure you do. You know. Awesome wing. Let's put it to the side. Some stuff just to get in there. Oops, some extra packing. I can, <laughs> I can see working. I probably look a bit ghostly green. Okay, we've got some uh, some bits of green wood. You can see that in there. Uh, this is probably for the FPV camera mounting. I would have thought maybe for battery as well. I don't know without going through the instructions. Um, I will have to look for the instructions online uh, it doesn't come with any instructions it's uh, it's not a lot to it it's literally um, it just looks great in the air I mean I think you know we'll do a build video probably uh, tomorrow it's, it's a bank holiday in the UK it gives me an extra day so yeah timber mm, okay cool Let's put that in the box and the elevators or horizontal stabilizer as some people like to call it very green. Oh, oh. Uh, once again, there, there's no. Uh, they've got an extra spar or uh, rod, should I say? Spar rod, same thing, I guess, to strengthen it. Uh, this obviously pulls apart uh, by a clip. Looks like a little clip. I push down on the back if I can, and it should pop out. Okay, it's not popping out at the moment. I'm not going to force that, um, but it looks like there's a little hinge there. You press and it pulls apart. It's very. This is this is made um, with strength of flying with G forces, I guess, uh, because this is almost a a three D plane. Like three D plane is like you know your flights. Sort of, this is a racer, so you're going to be doing some seriously, seriously circuits with this tight circuits, loop to loops, and that green. Wow, can't miss that. What else we got in here? <laughs> Not giving much away, is there? Anything underneath? No. Hmm. Right now, we've got two propellers here, and they've got little inserts for. Uh, let's just uh, cut that open for you. Cut my fingers. He says. Now. If you saw in the last video, I mentioned this like little inserts in case the it's loose on the shaft on the motor shaft. I think I don't know. I think it is. Now I would have thought you've got an eight by six e, and I think there's it should say actually. But does it say the prop size on here? Does it say on the prop size? It does seven by six point five. Right, yeah, so this is the seven 
by six five, so seven inches, and then the uh, the turn. Uh, there is a word for terminology for that, and I've actually forgotten. Uh, brain will come back in a minute, don't worry. But the angle of the blade that is the six point five. Now, trouble is, these propeller and this this is just super 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 flimsy. It's a bit of spare plastic they found on the floor. This one, uh, I think this one would be for, the, the smaller one should be for the 3S, is it? Uh, lied, it's the larger one for 3S. Of course, there's more rotations, I think. There is, a, I was watching a video actually, so I knew, um, knew a bit more about propellers and stuff, and it's an amazing thing. Um, I forgot what page I was looking at now. Um, but it told you also about the the uh, motor thrust, um, why why a motor mounts angled on a plane um, because of the thrust, and uh, when you're actually building a plane, you work all that out. So because the the plane tends to yaw, um, that's when you take off at max thrust, you put a bit of rudder to kick it back a bin, uh, back a bin, back again. Can't put my teeth in today. Um, yeah, and it's all about thrust. Now this one, you hit it once and it's game over. That was snap. It is a pile of pants. This one, um, you can't you can't get them from Hobby King. They're never in stock. So I have got a Master Air Screw seven point six. Now the other one's six seven point seven point six five. If I can get it out, he says. Uh, Master Air Screw are pretty awesome propellers uh, when you can get them out of the box. Here we, go. Oh, here we go. Right, so as you can see, they are the same size. The same size. Now the pitch. That's it, pitch. The pitch is 6.5 and this is 6. So it's less pitch, but 0.5 of a pitch. Would that make much difference? I presume it would do, but the way that Master Air Screw do the propellers, I mean, I don't think you'd see that much of a difference. Be hard to tell really. I think if you was a professional and you were doing these as professional races, then every little thing does count. But for me, as your average Joe, just want to fly your airplanes and love the hobby, which we all do, that's why you're watching it probably. Master Air Screw. Now, I have got the 8x6 as well, depending what I want to fly, which is uh, which is on its way. <laughs> it's on its way. Uh, but I wanted to use this uh, for the um, um, for the uh, for the racer. Anyway, this one. But uh, yeah, do get some more props. Get some. Oh, these would be ultimate spare props. Because these, I mean, this one's not too bad, but this one is just. Uh, is, is horrible. It's horrible. But you know, it's uh, it's all good. Let's better keep these because they've got all the spaces for the prop shafts and bits and pieces that I don't want to lose. So we'll keep them over there with that one. And the piece de resistance, the fuselage, and I think fuselage, fuselage, fuselage. I think. That, oh no, no, we got some more stuff. I was wondering where this was. Now this has got another screwdriver, I mean I've got the screwdriver, there's a space for it over there actually. Uh, it comes from, it comes with all the screws, push rods, uh, ready to put on, and inside there should be a sexy, sexy aluminium spinner. Do love aluminium spinners. There we go, I'm not going to get it out. Should I get it out? Yeah, let's get it out. Look at that. Solid aluminium, or as we, as they say over in the uh, over in the pond, aluminium, aluminium, aluminium. They say aluminium, aluminium. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, hi to you guys over the pond. Look at that. That is <laughs> sexy. That is good. Seeing that flying as the speed of this does and the noise is just going to go wow. Anyway, that's not the, the, the sexy part of it. That is the sexy sexy. And now the ultimate sexy, not the box, is the fuselage. Look at that. 
Look at that. Look at this. Look at it. Just look at it. It just looks so mean. I mean, it looks awesome. I mean, the way they've put the ESC at the back there, cables going across, and it's a nice little scoop in there, plastic for the wing to fit into. So this is one that I could actually go without, um, with, with, without the wing. I mean, you know, it probably helped me to, because I've kind of run out of space here to not put the wing on until I fly. But this is, I mean, it looks really, really nice. I mean, they've done a really, really good job. As I say, I'm a bit concerned about the, the uh, even the rudder hasn't got uh, some extra strength. <sighs> I just love this colour. It's mad. Look, look at it again. Mad. Now, the biggest thing that I like, obviously, is about these planes, as you probably would know by now, is the top hatch. Uh, the top hatch. Uh, it's got a nice XD60 battery uh, connector, which we like XD60. I don't know why they don't make everything XD60, because it's just simple. I think for the big boys up there, XD90, I think. They're just a bit fatter, for obvious reasons. They go on the 6-cell uh, uh, batteries. But there you go, so you can have the wing on. It doesn't got any landing gear to worry about. Stickers are a bit... Some of this one's going to off a bit. Hey, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, I mean, you, I mean, you look. At, I don't know if you can see that the way the the actual prop shaft is turning, even the cowling is is is, is the turning. That's that's a lot of thrust. If you didn't do that, then the basic the plane going along the the wrong way, which is literally turn. Um, you'd probably have to have full full rudder. Um, but yeah, very clever people that design all these sort of things. Um, that is the unboxing. That's all you get, and that is all you get for some huge fun. Um, we could do a, a little build video, which it looks like the build video is going to take about ten minutes. So we can probably rattle on about propellers and um, and what different sizes mean. Um, and obviously, we could balance the propeller as well. Um, I've got my little balancer up there. I've showed you before. Um, even though master screw are are brilliant. Um, I'm sure they, that their balance is not great, 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 but we could just do that. Let's test that now. Um, there's my little prop balancer. It's got a, it's got a magnet to either side. Um, let's just get the wire to do it. I think maybe I should zoom in. Let me just go around. Oh, hello. Let's go around. Let's just move uh, this a bit. So sorry about this for everyone that's watching. Let's just tip that down a bit there. It's, and maybe I can move forward a bit. Let's move the camera forward. Way. Just a bit of closer. There we go. Without changing, um, changing lenses and all that fun stuff. Oh, hello. So, master air screw. How balanced are you? So this is great. You get these. Uh, you get this from uh, like Hobby King. They're pretty cheap. It's probably the cheapest one you can get. Um, but it works. Uh, so we you take off these two. Well, one of the cones. Aluminum. That's it. Aluminum from over the pond. You put, you put the propeller, the propeller, in the middle. Now you would try to get this so uh, it's in the middle. So um, it doesn't really matter, but. And just hand tight them so there you go so you, it looks something like that then if you put it here you'll notice you probably won't notice actually but in there it touches one side and it doesn't the other so if that if it's balanced it should stay where it is and it doesn't which means it's heavy on this side which means we need to sort of just on the back arse of it just here just with some light sandpaper until it's balanced because now this could say what's this guy doing you know he's, he's you know chris has gone crazy dead's rc hanger's gone loopy doop the trouble is if you, that's going at so many rpms that's going to make uh, a lot of like wobbling and your prop shaft and motor will feel it a lot of vibration which you don't want just for instance let's just uh, let's just bring the propeller that uh, that uh, I'm, I'm just sorry i'm just looking for the other bits of the uh, 
the, these propellers to make them fit over the uh, propeller shaft, motor shaft, prop shaft, whatever it's called. Let's see how balanced Durafly ones are. I mean, they actually got different ones, the new ones, because these are very brittle. And because you've got no landing gear, you're hoping that you have a nice skid landing and you don't you don't uh, break the propeller. But let's just see how balanced this is. You ready? Not as heavy as the other one, so it's a bit more balanced. But these, you know, these, these things come out of moulds, so, you know, these probably come out of like... 10 to a dozen, like ping, 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 ping. So I don't think anyone will sit there and say, let's balance this up. Otherwise I think you probably, the uh, plane would be a bit dearer than this is. It's pretty reasonably priced. Okay, we're doing the eight by six. So it, as I say, it contacts one side, but not the other, which gives you a true uh, go. No still heavy on one side so I think all props are heavy but I've done a prop before I've done it on the uh, the Navy Cup I didn't show you doing me doing it but uh, we can show you doing this so once again I'll just do the fat edge here you gotta be careful because some of these are molded in certain ways but I try not just to do a just do a, a, a nice little rub missus and uh, and then she'll come true everything's good with a little bit of rub right so Let's um, let's pause it there rather than uh, than uh, than uh, me sort of moving the camera about, and uh, we'll have a little chat. Okay, that was the unboxing of the uh, Durafly Extra or If Extra, should I say? Uh, I'm sure they've got another name for it, but um, Turnergy Power System. It's a pretty sexy plane. Um, you know, this is. Uh, sorry about the light. Wow, I know I keep saying this, sorry, but look. look. Welcome to RC Hangar. Yeah, it's RC Hangar. Hmm. <laughs> I've lost it, don't worry about it. Very green. But they do a blue one of this as well. Um, and another colour, can't remember it. But that is it, not a lot to it. It's all about fun. And um, I think when we take, I think at the end of the week, next week, um, um, I'm going to take it flying and, uh, and go for gold. I need to look at the instructions um, because obviously there is like these um, these wooden parts, and I know this, that you can fit an FPV camera because when you look on the box, it shows you the FPV camera, and I think basically it sits it sits on here. So when you undo that, as you can see a bit closer in there. There, it's pretty, pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. I think it sits on here, and that's what probably that wood's for. So it fits into place here. Um, and then the camera mounts on here, or somehow, um, and you go FPV. As I say, I've got this system coming called an iNav. Um, I'll probably put a link on this video actually, because uh, those of you who want to follow my dream, my journey, uh, maybe you do too. And uh, I've got some nice goggles there, was given to me by a man named Paul. Um, from the, it wasn't given to me, I actually bought them, but for silly money cheap, he, I think he just, he was happy about his big one, so, you know what I'm talking about, thank you very much, um, and thank you to all the new subscribers, uh, welcome to the channel, um, I hope, uh, that, uh, you find something of interest, or something you might not have known before, but now do know, or don't follow my mistakes, <laughs> Aye, but, uh, okay, well, we'll see you in the next video, where we'll actually do the building, so until then, keep safe, Keep flying. See you later now. Bye-bye.